Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another uh, Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. And in this tutorial, I thought I would demonstrate to you how to do a background blur or a soft focus. Now this can be very easily done. If you have a 35 millimeter camera, what you do is actually put a, a zoom lens on. I like to use my 70 by 300 lens. And you zoom very tightly into the object that you're taking a picture of and what it does it puts everything else in the background kind of as a blur and I'm sure you've seen this before that's called a soft focus because everything in the background is blurred out now we can very easily do that or duplicate that in Photoshop Element 6 with any picture you may have to do this let's go ahead and get started I'm going to take this ice sculpture and we're going to right click on it and go into full edit Once we bring it up in our full editor, we will then once again go to view, fit the screen. Then remember, we're going to duplicate the background layer so we can work with this layer right here, the background layer. Now, to start this, what we need again is our quick selection tool. Make sure that you're on the plus side of it. We're going to raise our brush size up a little bit to a bigger diameter here so we can select this a little faster. And we're going to just start selecting the ice sculpture itself. And remember, you just kind of click around. Photoshop Element 6 is very smart because it's looking for the edges of what you're clicking on. You don't have to trace around it like you did in the past with the selection tools. This is a nice tool because I like to just be able to click and actually let it sample it for me and find the edges. Seems to be taking a while. Just raise your uh, diameter of your brush up and then let's go ahead and start selecting more of this. Now as you do larger selections, it's going to, it may take your computer a little bit of time to uh, catch up to you. And we're going to select right down through here. We're going to end up getting the whole entire ice sculpture. So I'm going to go all the way down the bottom here to get the base. And all I'm doing with my mouse is just pointing to different areas and left clicking so it will be selected. Remember, don't worry if you go outside the lines. That's okay. Alright, there's part there. Good. Now, what I also wanted to do was, I wanted to select these two little um, pieces here. I guess these are like favors on the tables. So I'm going to turn my brush size down a little bit so I can work with those because they're a little bit smaller and we're going to select those. Again folks, I'm just pointing my mouse, getting a little bullseye and left clicking. So I can actually select this. And the better your selection is, the better your picture will turn out in the end. That's our main goal. Okay, let's not worry about that. We'll get rid of that in a minute. Let's go ahead and select this one. And it's just rendering our selections. Now that we have that selected, let's go back up click on the minus because now we're going to take away some of the selection and just click close to your object and what's going to do it's going to pull those back and it's going to find the edges that you're looking for on the on the item again we're not touching the item we're just touching away from it but close to where we want to be and as you can see this uh, like I say a video is worth a thousand words because you're seeing what's actually happening here now again we're going to go down here at the bottom because we don't want this stuff showing up in our picture in our final uh, processed photo so let's just go along here and um, go along here try to make it as straight as we possibly can along here and one here let that find the edges we got one more here to get rid of. 
There we go. Now that part's good. Now look at your picture and make sure you have the proper stuff selected. Look up here where this V is. We want to make sure we have that V, so let's take this out. And it'll drop that down so we have the V. And I also want this not selected right here, this triangle, because that's part of the woodwork behind the picture itself, or the uh, ice sculpture. Now that we have that, that's what we have selected that we want to show off. So what we want to actually blur, let's go up to Select and Inverse. Remember now, that'll blur out the background because that's what we want to work with. Now let's sim simply select uh, Filter, go down to Blur, and the first one I wanted to show you is a... The first one I wanted to show you was a motion blur is the first one I wanted to show you. Now look how that's already blurring the background out. And you can raise this distance up as much as you want to blur the background even more. You can see there. But look down here at these actual uh, pieces here. The actual favors for the tape. See how they're starting to blur back a little bit? It's almost like it's a motion, right? Everything's in motion now. It's pulling away from it. So that's a pretty nice blur, and it looks pretty good, pretty convincing. But I like to do one a little different. Hit cancel, and these blurs, folk, is just something you play with. Let's go to blur. Now this time, let's do a radial blur. Now with a radial blur, this is your center. So wherever you want to, and you kind of have to just judge this. Sometimes you'll apply this and have to take it back off. And this is the amount of blur. It's called a spin, so it's going to spin blur. And then we want the quality to be good, and that should be good enough. Once again, you have to play with this blur to see how much you want to blur. And then click OK. This one, you don't get to see the changes, excuse me, until you actually apply the changes. Now the actual radial blur is getting applied. And we're going to wait just a second here for it to take a hold of the picture. Like I said, if you have a faster computer, this may be a little faster. If you have a slower computer, it's going to take a little longer because it's actually rendering the picture right now. Rendering is just a process of reconfiguring basically the pixels. And you'll hear a lot about rendering when you uh, render movies or uh, do different things with uh, creating movies from your camcorders. But nevertheless, this is rendering this out. And in just a minute here, we should see our final results. The yeah, time limitation on YouTube is one of the worst things about using YouTube for these videos. Uh, the best thing, it keeps me under 10 minutes, and you don't have to listen to me babble on too much. So that's a good thing. So we're just about done here. And uh, we're going to get this blur applied. Okay. Now it finally finished applying our blur, and you can see now that there is definitely a radius. It's a radial blur, so it's spun back. And we're going to go up to Select, Deselect. Now look at that. It has our picture right up front, what we want to see. And it has the two little uh, favors for the tables shown very well. Folks, I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a soft focus with your pictures. Once again, you can use this with anything. Just take your time and do a very good selection of what you want to keep in the foreground. If you have any questions, please email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com and go over to jackstechcorner.com and sign up for the forums. Also, take a minute and subscribe to the YouTube videos and uh, place comments on each video to let me know how we're doing and try to rate the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time here at Jack's Tech Corner with some more Photoshop Element 6 tutorial videos. Bye for now.